Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jaleesa Joy, aka Jaja Binks, two underscores on Instagram and Twitter. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this look. I am using Amazon human hair clippings, right? They're not from Amazon, like Amazon did not make them. They're from a brand called ABH Amazing Beauty Hair. And I absolutely love the clippings i've ordered these back in september of 2019 i've had them in a bag stored away so of course the night before i actually did my hair i had to condition them with ors hair mayonnaise that you can get from the beauty supply store you can use any hair conditioning um so i'm going to condition rinse it out and then i'm going to condition it again with some leave-in that way the curls can pop so this is an amazing product that i found from amazon i freaking love amazon so vamoop vamop however you want to pronounce it detangling brush this color is orange even though it's beige we're just going to call it orange beige orange or whatever but i've always seen these brushes everywhere i go my roommate has one and i've always wanted to try it to see how well it it lasts or goes with my hair because i've broken combs and brushes a lot in my days on instructions it says that you can use um you can use it with wet or dry hair so we're about to test it on wet hair my wet clippings um this is the afro curly 14 inch clippings from amazon i've ordered two for a full like a really full diana ross type style if you're not into that and you want something that's a little bit big but not too like overpowering you can order one my best friend has one and she said it made like her whole head like filled up her whole head you can use it with leaving some of your hair out doing like leave some hair out a braid and then leaves put the clippings on top of the braid and then leave some hair out again or you can do like what I did with this style is I left all of my hair out and I just put the clips in between. Of course, I'm using the Aunt Jackie's leave-in conditioner for the clippings as well as my actual hair. The two conditioners that I've used, as you can see, it really brought out the curls. And this brush is really doing, doing its thing. Like, Of course, you're supposed to like brush it from root to tip. But I was struggling a little bit because I wasn't following my own directions and was trying to see if this hair can like pull out knots and like tangled hair while it's wet. And it actually did what I thought it would do. It was kind of a struggle because I didn't want to rip too much hair out. But for the most part, there wasn't a lot of um, what you call it. Uh, it wasn't a lot of shedding but with afro coily hair like curly hair in general like you're gonna have some shedding because it's high maintenance hair and so me i rarely get these this type of hair but whenever i want to go diana ross natural and do something with my hair i'll use the clippings they're quick they're easy to put in when you wet them you know finger comb them out you know get into it these curls are beautiful I will give this brush a 5 out of 5 on my clippings. Um, we're going to test it on my actual hair to see if it can stand up to my kinky, coily hair before I try to, like, buy another one for, like, traveling and stuff. I'm using the Aunt Jackie's Instant Detangler for my hair. I already pre-wet my hair because the humidity has been literally eating, my hair has been eating up this humidity. And so my curls have been getting tighter and tighter every day that I go outside to run to the store because it is hot as heck up here in New York City. This humidity is like asthmatic. I don't even know why I'm going outside. But my hair, I had to do the style to do something. So in order for me to do it, I had to wet it. I had little beady bees falling on my floor too. I, I need to trim like bad. But that's gonna be another video for like wash day. But the comb has been like putting the comb through my hair. It was really nice. I didn't have too much like pulling 
Um, I've used wide tooth combs and it wouldn't achieve like what I wanted it to do. But this brush really brings out the curls. Pulling, using one hand to brush it was good. Like I didn't have, like I wasn't hurting my scalp or anything. But I did like how to like pull down my hair a little bit. That way I can see if it can withstand what I was trying to do. I don't really put too many brushes in my hair, so I really did not know what I was doing with it. But for the most part, I would could definitely continue using this again. Like, I'm actually glad that I bought this. I'm really glad that I did. So I recommend this to you guys if y'all are looking for a detangling brush. Use it. I'm going to try to see how it is on dry hair, wet hair. I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. This brush is a must. Like, go order it. The links for the hair and the brush will be down below in the description. That way you guys can check it out, see the reviews, and try it out for yourself. And let me know how you like the hair and like the brush. So the disaster that's going on in front of my head. For me to find the courage to actually do my hair, I was playing around in my head trying to part it, put little braids in to try to stretch out the front. Cause the style that I wanted to achieve, I had no idea like how to do this. I don't know what picture I seen like months ago or whatever, but I was like, I wanna achieve this style and I had nothing to reference it on. So I was just going off a limb to see how my hair would look if I tried this style. So while I was using the comb, I realized that my part was horrible. It was trash. We all can see that. I just don't, I really struggle with parting. And then there's one part in my head that literally, it's like a dip. I don't know, maybe I'm missing a piece of my brain or something, or my skull. But it dips, and so it's hard to part in this one little spot right here. This, this spot right here that I had to go over like two, three times for me to the achieve like at least a straight part but after i actually did my hair you couldn't see my part to begin with but then i realized i had to go dry my hair i can't work with my hair wet because the moment it dries it starts to like it gets tighter so i had to go dry with the blow dryer in the bathroom in order for me to do two braids on the side Normally when I do two braids, I always regret it because it always messes up. But yet, I always do because the fact that I have a really, really round face, I need to put something like hanging down to distract how round and shiny my face is. But then it looks cute. It looks cute at the end of the day, but it just takes me a while just to get to that point in my life. Another debate that I was having internally was that I was trying to debate on whether or not I should add braiding hair to my to the two braids on the side. So at first I was like, I wanted them to be long, but then I was like, let me see what it looks like without the hair. If it's a good length with the beads and it's not too short, then I would keep it. And I didn't want to use a, a brand new pack of hair and I mess it up and not like it. Now, I'm looking at my hair like, should I do one big bun at the top or bend to now, whatever you wanna call it at the top, or should I try to do little ones with triangle parts? So we're gonna look at what the triangle parts are gonna look like. I've never done triangle parts before. My edge line is not like straight across. I don't think most people are straight across. Um, some people do, some people don't. But I have like little peaks on my edges so it's hard to do like actual straight parts because i have hair on the ends that just don't want to do nothing and so it was hard trying to get a perfect triangle which made me decide to do a braid in between and so i was like okay i'm gonna do a braid in between see what it looks like see what it does so i of course i use the eco gel to make it 
slick, but my hair still didn't want to slick. So we just left it alone. So the same thing I tell my students, what you do to the left side, you got to do to the right side. So now I got two little titty bantu knots on the side of my head. What am I going to do with the middle part and the two braids that I added? I'm just going to make one big old bantu knot, try to make one big old bantu knot. But we about to see what it looks like before I like go with the style. But I ended up going with the style anyways and it came out kind of cute. I got like two little titty knots on the side and I got one little miniature one in the middle. So, with the clippings, I ain't got no hair in the back. I'm bald head in the back, but it's gonna cover it up. You can either use a wide tooth comb to part your hair, like I did at the beginning. Got lazy, decided to just use my fingers because everybody loves a good finger, finger part. And it doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't matter if my part is straight or not with the clippings. As long as it's clipped into my hair and it's even, we're going to call it a day. So I took the one with the three clips, put it straight in the back, right in the middle. Spread it out. Try to blend in my hair with the clippings. What I could have did throughout each part was put gel eco styling gel on top of my hair to like slick it down but my hair was still wet so it wouldn't have it would have just dried up and shriveled up and got really really tiny but while I'm going through my hair I made sure that I had some hair at the top like a like a half moon almost to cover up the tracks at the very top that way I can have my hair out and blend it in
So I am just doing final touch-ups, making sure that there's no little sidetrack popping out through my hair, making sure my hair is blended, make sure my edges are good, make sure my hair is not too much gel, but enough gel to make it curl a little bit, to match the clip-ins, and to fluff it out. After you do your fluffing and making sure there's no space in the back, you are done and you can go out just like this or you can tie it up and save it for the next day but this is the look that i achieved i hope you guys like it the links down will be down below for you to check out the brush and the hair thank you for tuning into my channel and i will see you guys next time